remember I said to his, some of his followers, I know, I said, look, what your mother is doing? Now he ran out of questions and answer, and now he's only swearing. I see it's a, it's a mosque, can we not stop him? And they, his own people, they were begging him, please, Marisa, for God's sake, keep quiet, don't do that, don't swear. And eventually, I remember I asked, I said, you know, take Mr. Archer out of here. And we, you know, eventually, I think, managed to uh, come out of it, but they were very hot situation, and uh, they could have been in trouble. So I remember that incident, and there are many other incidents. Some are, uh, you know, very, I think, impressive. But okay, uh, maybe some other time. Jazakallah, some other time, yes. Very good. Okay. Now there is a drop for the injury in the slide show that he is with time. So I don't have another time, but I feel like I'm looking at the other one. Now we have got, huh? Yeah. I think we on the program we have got a photo, sli uh, photo slide show and then a history of Scotland Jamaat by me. So we drop these two programs and we go to the last one uh, to listen to uh, Safdar Ali Sahib that uh, you know what message he has brought from Centre for you. So I request Safdar Sahib to. Okay, before, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Uh, before I uh, bring the message to you from the center, what I would like is I want to see <coughs> all the youngsters and the khudam to come into the room. So only those people who are on duty in the Ziafat and Sami Basri, just one person in each department. Because I, the message I bring is important for the children, the youngsters and for the elders, but in particular for our, you, you know, the young generation. So can I request someone to bring all the children from outside. I can hear people in the corridor and uh, Khudam who are on duty as well, just in the Ziafat and Sami Basri, but I like to see the children in front of me, please. I think the Lajna can hear us as well. So if Lajna can also make sure that the Nasarat and Lajna are also present, I will not take too long, but it's important that we can engage uh, with everyone, please. <coughs> and also, if I can ask the children to come and sit in front of me, please. All of the children at the back. Kindly please, Jazakallah. Come on everyone. Basil, if uh, there are any khudam outside, please just, if you can ask them to come in as well. Jazakallah, Bismillah, Auzubillah, Imane Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah, Rahman Rahim, respected uh, regional Amir Sahib, respected uh, uh, local Sadr Sahib, my dear brothers and sisters, and Atfal, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Mia Safdar Ali, and I'm the National Secretary, Sami Basri, which means audio visuals for the UK. Um, it was Huzuri Akhtis's wish that the, the, the secretaries of the UK should travel around the country and to visit various Jamaats. So Amir Saab and uh, General Sekhti Saab put together a list and then they allocated various secretaries, different Jamaats. So for me, Glasgow and Edinburgh were allocated. And uh, so today, uh, with that uh, in mind, I have made a visit. Now, I don't bring too many messages. Uh, there are one or two points regarding the 100 years of Jamaat, 
uh, regarding our Salat, regarding our Chandajat. So in, in a nutshell, these are the three points that I want to cover. So firstly, I want to engage our future generation, which sits in front of me, the Athal and Khuda Malhamdiya in particular. The elders of our Jamaat, with the grace of Allah, they have lived a very full life. Now they are, they are at a state where they can advise our youngsters, Khudam and Atfal, to how to be a good Ahmadi Muslim. So first of all, children, can I ask you a question? Young man, sit down. Okay, thank you very much. What's the matter? No, leave him. Up. Sit down. Yeah. If you want to go out, just go to your dad. If you want to go to the toilet, but let's just listen. So let me address you children. Can I ask you a question? Why are we here today? What is the what is the function today? Can somebody put their hand up? Yes? In the UK. Well done, Shabash. Did any, did everybody know that that's why we're here? Okay, good. And uh, we saw a little presentation. There was a DVD for 30 minutes. Did you all see that? What did you th What did you think of that? Did you learn anything from that? So anything in particular you remember? Anything that you want to highlight? Who remembers anything uh, from that 30 minutes? What did you remember? Okay, good. Yes? Okay, good. No, I'm, I'm just making sure that you were actually paying attention and uh, it is very, very important that you should know why you're here and what we are celebrating today. Now, um, Amir Saab uh, I met yesterday. We've got uh, so many activities going on in the center. There is the uh, International Musroor Cricket Tournament going on uh, at uh, in London for the last uh, three days and this afternoon as I speak they're holding their uh, a final um, cricket match and normally Huzuri Akdis when he's here he's very keen and he goes and he attends his function so Amir Saab, uh, um, I've met Amir Saab yesterday at uh, Battle Fatu uh, he knew I was coming here through Bashir Akdis Saab so um, I asked him for any message in particular from him and he first of all sends his uh, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu to you all and uh, secondly he was uh, very keen to find out how Scotland Jamaat is actually celebrating their um, history in 100 years uh, in the UK and he was very keen to make sure um, that uh, the officials, the administration of the Jamaat are obviously compiling all the data and obviously some of this has been sent but he's very keen to see more materials to be sent uh, to him uh, as and when they come. And uh, so as I mentioned that Hazuri Akhtis was very keen that uh, the secretaries visit the Jamaats and, and go and find out how things are going and interact with them. We know that we have people come from the center normally um, a few weeks before and end of a, uh, uh, you know, a Chandra collection or a, a National Tabliq Day. There's no doubt people engage with you. But the idea of this visit is that we can speak to each other if there is any question that anybody has. It's not a, a big speech that I'm going to make. It's more to interact with the Jamaat to find out that if there is any, um, you know, things are which are in their mind, if I can answer them or I can take uh, something back to Amir Saab. We have our regional Amir Saab here, the local Sada Saab here. So if there's any, any, any burning question sometimes people have that we can understand and we can make things better. So the whole idea is to be able to engage and uh, Scotland, uh, Glasgow in particular, is the, is the furthest Jamaat from the centre. So it is very, very difficult for anyone on a weekend, every weekend to travel. So one has to make a very special effort. But uh, obviously we've done that today. So if there is anything that anybody wants to uh, discuss during the uh, meeting, just raise your hands and uh, we, can, we can cover that. Now, the DVD that you saw, the idea of that uh, was that uh, at last year's Shura, 
it, there was a recommendation regarding the celebration of 100 years of Ahmadiyat in UK, okay, how we are going to celebrate. And there's a, there's a whole host of uh, plans that uh, um, have come about through the Shura. And after the Shura, Amit Sahib appointed a committee um, under the chairmanship of uh, Naib Amir Akram Amdi Saab and I am a member and uh, last year, early, middle of last year we got together and had our brainstorming and uh, finding out what were the ways that we can organize different events and obviously um, it's a very great uh, part of our uh, tabliq that we can do to the local indigenous communities. So a number of things were discussed. For an example, um, a DVD should be prepared that the Jamaats can actually uh, play that uh, to their own functions like today. And also, when you're holding peace conferences and other question and answer sessions, where half or more than half of your guests are from outside, they're non-Muslims, so they can see, you know, what the Jamaat has achieved in the UK. And then uh, two large documentaries for an hour each to be prepared to be run on MT International. So we're also currently in... Uh, 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 in the making of uh, one documentary for 60 minutes uh, by the title of the history and the services of the UK Jamaat. So that, uh, inshallah, by end of uh, July, early August, we'll see that on international. And the second uh, documentary we're making is uh, the blessings of Khilafat in the UK. And again, we've got uh, a team at uh, Jamia UK who are actually putting together the scripts. And then apart from that, there is a lot of publications, uh, magazines, essay writing, picnics, and so many things which were agreed upon. So by now, all the Jamaats are getting all the support with the materials. And I hope, Sadasab, that you've been receiving um, exhibition materials. If not, you need to let me know. Balid Sahib is responsible. And as of, I would say, the last two months or so, Feltham were the first Jamaat in the UK about mid-February that they held their first uh, peace conference and they um, obviously had the theme of 100 years in the UK and you know so uh, you are the very first Jamaat where uh, this DVD has been played as well and uh, so therefore if any material that is required further please let us know Amit Saab and General Sekhti Saab want to support this so obviously it's a very big part of the bleak. Now just to give you a taste and a, an example okay, this um, DVD that we saw for half an hour. Uh, you're looking at research work, uh, technical work, and to produce this, around about 250 to 300 hours worth of work. So obviously you don't want to get any dates wrong. Um, Amir Saab saw this about a week ago. We had finished this project about a month ago. Amir Saab sat with us, Naseem Bajwa Saab, and we found very small mistakes, but those mistakes were very big because they needed to be corrected. If you are going to show this in public, even if anybody has spotted anything which we have not, before I go, please let me know if any date is wrong. I mean, we were discussing this with Regent Amit Saab earlier while we were having dinner, lunch, that uh, whether Glasgow was the first mission house outside the UK, uh, London or Bradford. So that is something we need to clarify, but I think by the research work that was carried out, we feel that perhaps uh, respected Bashir Ochir Saab had arrived here uh, much earlier. So perhaps because of that, we feel that this was the first uh, mission house. So um, the, the three points, um, obviously we're touching upon you know, the 100 years of establishment of the UK Jamaat in the U here. We should be thanking Allah Ta'ala that Allah has given us the opportunity to come to this very great landmark. Not many communities can claim this in the UK, that, you know, with the grace of Allah, we've been here. So we should be thanking Allah. Children, I hope you're paying attention, yeah? So we should be thanking God that uh, he has given us the opportunity to be here for 100 years and many more centuries to come in the future, inshallah ta'ala. And also, as I've just mentioned, that the regions are encouraged to hold many question and answer sessions peace conferences and organize exhibitions in their town halls, in their libraries, etc., where these videos can be played and any material which is required from the center
um, you know, we're happy to help and also for you to have your uh, own history that you can present of the local Jamaat when it was started, who were the first others and what any landmark points, any achievements which were, which were achieved. And also, um, I have been asked to uh, remind you that we should, uh, this year in particular, we should remember our brothers and sisters, in particular in Pakistan, Bangladesh and India, where they do go through a lot of hardship and, uh, you know, extra prayer should be uh, said for them. And every Thursday, with the request of Hazuri Akhtas, that we should all be, those who can, medically they're fit, they should be doing an awful fast, fast on that particular day. And the, the, the main two areas that I wanted to discuss now are the, first of all, the, the attendance of Salat uh, in congregation. So out of the children, tell me how many namaz do you offer in a day? Go on. Shabash. At home or do you come to the mosque? Okay, that's very good. Somebody else had their hand up behind? Who else? Yes? Do you offer your five daily prayers? How old are you? Shabash. You know it's compulsory. Well, it's recommended from the age of seven onwards. So that's very good, mashallah. So, you know, uh, we're going to touch on chanda as well. But I think the key, the key thing for the soul, the key thing for anyone is that if you are regular with your namaz, if it is at all possible, that you can offer them in congregation. Obviously come to the mosque. Sometimes it's very, very difficult that you are at work and some people have, get, have the facility at work to offer their namaz. But if uh, any individual is, uh, you know, regular with their namaz, then everything else around their lives, um, Allah Ta'ala takes charge. You know, so they have all sorts of blessings that they receive from, from Allah. And uh, so, so everything else around us, sometimes we are very weak people, we are not paying our chandas on time. You know, if uh, I feel this is my own thinking and philosophy, I work with a lot of volunteers in the Jamaat, especially, you know, our technical department, we're looking after things day in, day out. With the Jalsa, we have about 150 people who work with us, and throughout the year we have anything between 50 to 100 people that we're engaging with. And my personal experience is that any individual who is very particular, regular in their namaz, we have many functions in Battle Fatu. Every weekend from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I guarantee you there is uh, six, seven, eight functions. And sometimes Ziafat and Sami Basri are actually catering for all functions. And I work with people sometimes when it's time for namaz, I observe this. Some of my members leave five or six minutes, ten minutes before Sabda Sahib, I have to go and do my ablution, I have to go and do my nuafal. Some people I observe that bang on, you know, namaz time, they're not going up. They're finding excuses not to go off for whatever reason. And those are the people I find that they're not very honest, they're not very, um, you know, hardworking people. Those who, who, who bow to Allah, who, who, who are offering their namaz, you find that they are, they are different kind of people. You, you ask them a question, you give them a, a task, they want to help you, they want to work with you. So if you are very regular, now I'm talking to my elder brothers uh, and, and sisters upstairs, that these uh, youngsters sitting before me and Nasrat and Lajna upstairs, that these are the children that we have to invest in for the future. So if uh, a parent, as a parent, if I'm not offering my namaz regularly, even at home, if I'm not coming to the mosque on a regular basis to offer my namaz, then how are we going to do the tarbiyat? How are we going to, you know, teach our children that namaz is very, very important? Of course, it's very difficult to come to the mosque perhaps, you know, five times a day. But if you organize your life in a such a way that even if you have to offer your namaz in congregation at home, you know, it takes three people, imam and two people behind. So at home, mom, sister, others can join and you do your, you know, obligatory, uh, you know, your namaz is done. So it's very, very important that our elder generation and obviously the khudam who are young and they're married, obviously they're children are very young but they should become 
pure good examples, you know. So, so this was one of the key messages that we should be offering our namaz uh, in congregation regularly in the mosque wherever possible. You are very fortunate that if you are the second mission house, uh, mission after London, then this is one of the oldest, you know, establishment in the country. And with the grace of Allah, you have a beautiful large mosque here. You know, I, I was in Feltham the other day, um, you know, mosques are there, but they're very small. And they're having a lot of problem in the neighborhood, vandalism and all sorts of issues. But I'm sure these things happen everywhere. But you're very fortunate. I myself live in Luton, and we're a very small community. And unfortunately, we've not been able to uh, find a right uh, place to build a mosque. We're we're doing our best, and and I and and even despite that, our sadasa Monday to Friday has arranged for a, a community hall in the evening. We go there in the evening, and uh, we I leave home when I'm whenever I'm not in the markas, I'm home. I go there as if I'm going to battle for two, or as if I'm going to battle for Zil, or any masjid. So it's it's inside, and then I take my children with me. So you know this is very very important that the elder community here are uh, engaged with the children you bring the children to the masjid now the other point uh, is that uh, the 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 compulsory you know chandajat now um, children so far you understand what i'm saying yeah because some of you now are beginning to i know it's a habit is you, you can't concentrate more than 10 minutes it's human nature but uh, please another few minutes and we are done yeah so what did I just speak about just now? Uh, what did I say? Yes, okay, good, good. Thank you very much. Now, Chanda Jad, as you know, that uh, um, recently, um, if you listen to Huzur this is uh, uh, sermon about five weeks ago when Huzur touched upon the, uh, the international global community are having their um, elections, um, you know, the Shura and the elections for the national Amla and the local Sadaran and the uh, local Amlas as well. So um, if we need to, you know, listen to that khutbah again and then again and again, there's a lot of messages for the people who are in office and also of the general community in the Jamaat, both ways, Hazur Rayak this uh, had requested the people with the Ode and, you know, with position to be very uh, respectful in mind when they are dealing uh, with the general public um, and also the general public, the members of the community to respect people's office as well. So in particular with this in mind, um, since February stroke March, Throughout the country, as you know, with the grace of Allah, we have now 101 uh, Jamaats in the UK, Alhamdulillah. So, um, so in every Jamaat, the elections are in, uh, well, they have taken place or they are going to be completed, I would say, by the end of this month. Because the National Shura is in two and a half, uh, three weeks time. Uh, then the, uh, the new office uh, bearers, they take charge of their office from 1st of July. So I think everywhere the elections have been taken. And one thing which has come very apparent, uh, General Sekhti Saab wanted me to convey this, is that um, not only Glasgow, but uh, uh, a number of other Jamaats where we have found that the people paying chanda according to prescribed rates, the, the, the important chandas, you know, chanda arm, jalsa salana, and then is either vasiyat or chanda arm, that, uh, you know, people, have, people are not paying according to shara. For some reason, you know, they are not, uh, you know, we are not tax collectors, you know, we don't go and impose a certain percentage of uh, chanda from them. But if somebody tells you, okay, he's, you know, he can only pay 20 pound, 30 pound a month, uh, whatever the case may be, and then you see him, mashallah, driving a, a beautiful BMW or Mercedes Benz, then something is not right. 
if that person is paying 250 300 pound a month then with the grace of allah you know you say yes allah bless you with more bmws you know allah bless you with a lot more things but you know we we, can't, we cannot deceive allah it's the near it's the intention of us so so it is a bit embarrassing from general sekti saab's point of view that uh, he's had to look very closely and to agree with certain members yes you can pay uh, yes you can you know have the right to vote so so that is an area i think all of us that we need to look at especially our elders they need to look at uh, you know how what prescribed rate that they're paying at and especially they should be talking to their uh, um, young children at home who are of a working age um, and, and 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 you know putting this in their mind even the it fall as well that uh, although there's no compulsory chanda on the youngsters but if you make a habit of 20p 50p chanda arm chanda you know uh, jalsa salana others so by the time with the grace of allah they uh, graduate they start work it is already in their blood you know that do uh, i have to pay my chanda arm i have to do this i have to do that you know so so keeping that in mind it is very very important that we want to make sure that we have uh, next time when the elections take place then you know then general secretary saab can very proudly go to huzuri akhtar through me saab and say this jamaat this jamaat is 100% you know people are eligible to vote so that is a message from me saab and that is a message from um, general secretary saab so in a in a, a summary boys and girls listen now you are using a telephone this is another very very bad habit that we as a community are now getting into um that we come to our meetings we come to the mosques and we have our mobile phones with us some of us are very clever and they put them on uh, uh, silent and yet they sit down I've, i'm not going to point at you but there is a, a kid in front of me about i'm speaking he's is on his iphone i don't know what he is doing he's definitely not recording my voice to go home and listen to you can take that from some university department from humayun saab but you know it's a sign of respect you want to play with the phones play you know when you are at home or not don't bring them into the mosque please it's a very bad habit and i have seen while i was sitting at the uh, at the table i saw some elders also uh, on the phone as well a it's uh, it's disrespectful b it shows you that you are bored now there is a problem if you are bored then put the phone away so it's very very important please eh? we have this problem in batul fatu fazal masjid as well but the security people there they take your phones at the gates and they put them in a bag you know so three things just to sum up now message was that the uh, you know with the grace of allah we have the centenary has started um, so we want all the regions to go out and do tabligh and show people their 100 years in the uk use the dvd use the materials from the center that uh, has been sent to you if you need more items and talk to the general secretary's department and also for the elders to assist our youngsters to educate them to guide them in their daily uh, uh, five uh, uh, prayers in congregation and lastly but not uh, least that the the chanda uh, jats are uh, uh, looked at very carefully and everybody knows how much they are earning you look there is is a very simple mathematics you know there is nobody especially in the developed countries uk europe america that you cannot say if you are unemployed with the grace of allah you are still receiving benefits you are still receiving certain benefits that you don't physically see you know things like the rent which is paid by the council things like certain um, facilities that we have for children technically speaking if you really want to be uh, very pious and you can uh, look at it and that's an income you know you may receive 500 pounds in your bank from the uh, you know the social security per month but they've already given you 2500 pounds in hidden benefits so your income that month is 3000 pounds because somebody who's working 9 to 5 or running a business uh, he's actually got to pay his rent he's got to pay his mortgage he's got to pay the you know everything so he's not on benefits so it's 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 a blessing from allah that you're active you're out you're working there should be nobody who who's unemployed there should be 
you know, seeking knowledge, they should be going back to college universities, they should be seeking more um, education, you know, they should be running businesses, they should, if they've got time on their hands and they're sitting home and, uh, uh, you know, um, disturbing their families at home and, you know, making fights with their, you know, wives or whatever, come to the masjid, go and do some Jamaat work. You know, uh, be a volunteer, go and, uh, you know, stand at the street corners and uh, feed the homeless people. Just remembering that, this is another part of the centenary, ke, you know, you need to go out and feed the, uh, the, the homeless people as well. Just engage yourself, you know, and Hazuri uh, this is khutbas, you know, that is a, such an important, uh, I would say, you know, after your salat, uh, five daily prayers, I would say that Hazuri Akhtis' message on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, you know, should be listened to 10 times, 20 times, and you should learn from what Hazur says in his khutbahs. Recent visits now, I'll end this uh, by a couple of points that uh, I don't know how many of you, uh, so children, let me ask you, when Hazuri Akhtis went to America, Los Angeles airport, did anybody see that video when Hazur was led uh, from the airport to the mosque. Did anybody see that? I don't know if any of you elders saw that. I don't, I don't think most of you have seen this. I want you to go on YouTube, onto the Al-Islam uh, Hamaya, you should arrange this, that people should see the blessing of Khilafat in this world by just looking at that video. When Huzuri has this arrived at the airport in Los Angeles, there was officials who, government officials, firstly they received him as a VIP. Then the ten ka kafla, the entourage, they were escorted by police cars. They say that apart from President Obama in Los Angeles, no other political leader, no other religious leader has ever had an escort from the airport to Chino Masjid. Now, isn't that beautiful? You saw police cars with their sirens and they were actually stopping traffic on the motorway. I mean, can you just see that? You know, Khalifa Wakat is traveling. And the same thing happened when he arrived in, uh, in Vancouver. The officials received him at the airport. And again, the entourage went with the police escort. And the same thing happened in Calgary a few days ago. So, you know, I think Sami Basri should arrange this. Uh, download this and you've got a beautiful system here in the children's class or whatever they should you should see that and that to me shows it should show you as well the great blessings of Khilafat so there was a message here from Lajna DVG show said that the first mission house in the UK was in Star Street as this is a very important uh, historical site for us please tell us exactly where Star Street is i.e. which locality yeah now, uh, Dr. Wali Shah Saab has been commissioned by Amit Saab about a year and a half ago to collect the uh, history of, uh, of the UK Jamaat. So by the grace of Allah, um, he's a retired doctor. Everybody knows Dr. Wali Shah Saab. I don't think anybody who does not know him. So on a regular basis, he come to Battle Fatu. He's got his medical office turned into a, a, a museum now, you know, with so many files. So working, very, uh, working with him very closely, we, we, we came to know that uh, in the history that when uh, uh, Mulana Sial Saab, when he uh, arrived here, uh, first, um, uh, he, uh, we believe he stayed with the, uh, somewhere for a, a few days, but then he was instructed that you should have a place of your own. So Four Star Street is off Edgeware Road near Marlborough, where you have the Arab community now. So the question was, where exactly is Four Star Street? So it is literally a couple of uh, meters away from the main road uh, on Edgeware Road, which is, in, uh, uh, which is near, literally a few seconds of drive from Marlborough in Hyde Park Corner. So again, um, if anybody has any questions, I'm here to um, try to answer them. Does anybody have any question? Anything what I've discussed? Or anything else that you want me to? Amit Saab has given his salam and he's given some questions. So anything I should take back for Amit Saab? Of course I should take your salam, no doubt. Inshallah. Apart from that, anything else that I should convey to him? Children, anything else you want to say to Amit Saab? We have 
regional Amir Sahib, and then we have national Amir Sahib. Yes, what would you like to say to him? Okay, Shabash, thank you very much. So, I'm in his good books then, yeah? Jazakallah. Uh, just as a feedback for me, this is quite uh, personal as well, because obviously we, we spent 300 hours on this DVD. Uh, two big ones are coming later on. Any feedback, any, even, even what they say, even if it's a negative criticism, I'm happy to take it back. Anything, anybody wants to make any comments? Did you enjoy it? Speech, then there should not be of if we are displaying the okay ठीक that's a very good point this point was raised before as well in fact uh, the, f the original version of that was very loud and yeah yeah so that's a very good point and and one thing you may have noticed in this DVD is that um, the idea was that it can be used for the Jamaat function like today as well as for obviously the guests. So a lot of the terminology which is used in there is it's kept to, to the outside audience. So keep that in mind, you know. So instead of saying Khula we are saying the youth organization, you see. Anything else? Anybody else made any, any observation that we should know? So that that's good. If 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 you if you do uh, see anything, please let uh, Wafar Sab or Sadr Sab know. But do let him know in the next 24 hours because we are about to do uh, a, a 500 run. You know, we're going to put it into a nice presenter and with the logos and everything. And so we are going to give it, uh, you know, to all the uh, Sadra and regional Umra of the country. And also, we're going to try and sell it at Jalsas and other places as well. And apologies for that little hiccup. Uh, what's happened is that uh, uh, one of the DVDs I brought with me uh, was actually faulty. So it's good. That's one thing we found. So no good making 500 copies from this because they will all be faulty. But Jazakallah, thank you very much for uh, giving me this uh, opportunity. G. But we did. There was uh, when he went to the city hall, city uh, he, the, our chambers. There was about uh, 20 seconds. The only thing about the city chamber uh, visit is that it should be linked with the Khilafat centenary celebrations because that was the last function historically uh -huh. in that year. So that has been not shown there, but at the end. Uh -huh. So okay. 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 I think uh, no, no, uh, yes we've uh, I mean uh, so many things with the Misa, Baja Sahib we, we sat down we looked at that uh, but it was just a timeline and the reason we showed that in the group if you look at it it was that when Hazuri Akhtas was invited this was the word that we wanted to use not Hazur went to the parliament Hazur was invited to the parliament in, in, in the UK where he addressed in uh, October 2008 then Hazur Yaktas went to the European parliament then we wanted to include this year that he was invited here by the Lord Provost so it was it was in the and because there's no uh, uh, Scottish parliament that he went to so this was the, the nearest thing so that's why it was grouped in that particular area but point taken but you know, one thing at the end is in 30 minutes, how can you show 100 years? Mm -hmm. Even if you spend one minute per year, you need 100 hours. And then everybody, somebody's going to say, look, you know, Subhullah Khan Sahib thing should have been much more bigger. So we've tried to justify everywhere. But overall, I think with the grace of Allah, I think it does send a good message to the, to the outside world and to the youngsters and the community. Yeah? Uh, I, I'm not just uh, another point. G. 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 The reason it's not of quality is that uh, uh, we've asked uh, members of the Jamaat because certain footage we did not have and that was a personal footage of somebody uh, I believe in Holland that, that was not in the UK. So and the other thing was given as you all know the history when Khalifa Rabi left the country nobody knew. He was in a such a quiet uh, regime. Only when I think he, when he arrived, uh, I, I think from the airport, he, uh, a message to Holland was given to the Amir, ke, look, Hazuri is about to arrive to take a connecting flight. So somebody with a handy cam camera in those days, you know, nobody had these uh, things. So somebody, I think, on a personal level did that recording. 
So some of the footage that you will see is, is old. Also, uh, you'll be surprised to know okay, in the other documentary, we are going to include some early day footage that a company called British Pathé, uh, some of you may have heard this, in the early days when there was no television, a company called British Pathé used to go out to front line in the wars uh, to take some uh, you know, real to real footage. And then in the cinema houses, they used to play the newsreels. So they have got a lot of uh, material in their archive of uh, the second caliph, um, you know, Khalifa Sani, his visit to uh, London, and then the mosque. The, you may have seen that couple of clips in there, the opening of the masjid, yeah. So th that footage is not very high quality. So obviously, you know, you have to put that in, and people will understand, yeah. Jazakallah ji, thank you very much for uh, giving me the time. Jazakallah Sahib, now we end the meeting with a silent uh, prayer. And I think uh, Murabi Sahib is not here, so uh, let us join and uh, uh, have a silent prayer. Amen. I mean.